Well, it's Groundhog Day again, and that must mean that we're up here at Gobbler's Knob waiting for the forecast from the world's most famous groundhog weatherman, Punxsutawney Phil. I know there's a blizzard. When are the long-distance lines going to be repaired? Well, what if there is no tomorrow? There wasn't one today. Hello? Hello? This is pitiful. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. What a hype. Not like they used to mean something in this town. They used to pull the hog out and they used to eat it. You're hypocrites! All of you! You got a problem with what I'm saying, Larry? Untie your tongue and you come out here and talk, huh? Am I upsetting you, princess? You know, you want a prediction about the weather. You're asking the wrong help. I'll give you a winter prediction. It's going to be cold. It's going to be gray. And it's going to last you the rest of your life. Yeah, put your Once again, the eyes of the nation have turned here to this tiny village in Western Pennsylvania. Blah, 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 blah. There is no way that this winter is ever going to end as long as this groundhog keeps seeing his shadow. I don't see any other way out. He's got to be stopped. And I have to stop him. That's not bad for a father pick. You gotta check your mirror. Just side of your eye. Side of your eye. When Chekhov saw the long winter, he saw a winter bleak and dark and bereft of hope. Yet we know that winter is just another step in the cycle of life. But standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and basking in the warmth of their hearts and hearts, I couldn't imagine a better fate in a long and lustrous winter. From Punxsutawney, it's Phil Connor. So long.